We're gonna do something a little different today. We got our waiters. Seventeen inch mold. All right, it's July first, so it's been a while since we've been fishing at the river. Catch of the day. One threw away a Dio Samurai. Sticker still on it. If they got frustrated, they got snagged on something, or if it just dropped in. This is like brand new. Bait's barely even uh, damaged. All right. Take our free rod and lure. Go. All right, so here's what we found. Really nice looking red eye shad. The Daiwa Samurai combo. Six foot six, medium, two piece combo with the plastic still on it. Labels worn off. Looks like they were using. 15, 20 pound braid or 20 pound mono something pretty thick there we go find of the day nice Small still. big by any means compared to what we used to catch around here but pretty good for today
bit of a surprise. There's some olive sitting in it. Oh. <laughs> Almost lost them, but we got them. Not bad. 16 incher probably on the little three inch Cinco. Wasn't getting anything, but finally got one. Oosh. That's the first fish I think I've caught in the Kalamazoo River in like two months. So yeah, I just, I've been trying it, but on and off. You see the river's way down. You can see all the silt now from draining Morrow Pond. It's just completely silted in. River's gross, now it's really low. It's been dirty the whole summer, and uh, I just haven't been catching them. I know other people have been catching some, but not me. There we go. Wish the comes your river in a while. On the uh, Rapala V blade. Right, we're at the river again today. It's September 27th, 28th, and uh, we're gonna do something a little different today. We got our waders. We're gonna go up under that culvert and try to find some of our lures because the water's down right now, it's pretty clear, and uh, I want some of my lures back. So we're gonna try this. Never climbed up under there. Hopefully, it won't be a big deal, and uh, see if I can get some footage under there. Hopefully, we can get a whole bunch of my lures back. Hopefully, these waders don't leak. Don't know how good I'll be able to film under there. Let's see if we can pull on a spine on this one. 
Traps back. Two sinkos and a grub. Said the water was clear recently, so don't want to completely remove this log jam either. I want it to be here. But I don't want that log jam to be here. <laughs> I'm an old beer bottle. Well, we cleared out most of it now. As far as I've been casting, anyway. There's one lure. Part of a ghost broken bottle. Swim under here. Another glass bottle. There's something big right here that I'm standing on. All the brush was hung up on. It's like a solid piece of concrete. I did a brush all day, but I'm not finding any lures. Six lures, only a couple of them are rattle traps, I think three. And uh, I expected to find a lot more than that. I don't know what happened to all my lures. Fish must have picked them up and swam them off. But we'll try with the net real quick, just poking around, see if we can't pick up a couple. I thought with the net I could snag some that were on the bottom. But uh, we are not getting any. Let's one more quick. Bubbles sound like rattle traps in the water. There's our big find. Lots of old mailbox. No lures in it. Alright, that did not go as planned. We tried going under the culvert, getting in all that uh, brush pile that we've been snagging on, expecting to find just the mother load of my lures. Just, what? Four lures on it. A few of them were mine, a couple other things, some soft plastics, and that was about it. Only one of them still looked pretty fresh. Uh, the other ones, I expected most of them to be dirty, but I expected to find 20, 30, 40 lures. I just thought they would be hanging on the brush pile in there. Couldn't find them. There's the cleaned up lures from the river today. And the one Tokyo rig. Right, we're using one of the newly found red eye sheds. We're back same day, Sunday. But let's see if we can catch anything. See if anything moved back in after we cleared this out. Maybe you'll be happy now, you won't get snagged as often. Maybe I'll be happy. Still a couple snags up there though. So we climbed up underneath the culvert, 
only found four lures uh, of ours, I think, four, four red eye shads, uh, a couple soft plastic, stuff like that. But well, pulled out a bunch of the log jams, came back here about five or six hours later, cast under there, snagged. So we lost one of the new red eye shads we just got, but before that we snagged a bag, a little brown plastic bag, and we got three more red eye shads. So win win, I guess. But that's it for the Kalamazoo River for this one. I know we didn't catch a lot of good fish. It's been like three months of not catching many good fish. So hopefully the fall will be better. Hopefully we'll snag a few less lures. So sorry for anybody that uh, enjoyed that spot and snagging lures and breaking off. I hope I didn't ruin it by taking out most of the brush pile. Fish might have hid behind, but uh, at least now we'll be able to get some lures under there and not lose them every time. But there's still some snags. I missed a couple. Kind of disappointed. And that's going to wrap up, uh, what are we on, part seven now? So, part seven of the Kalamazoo River. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll keep throwing away lures. I cleared out the snags. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the fishing. Sorry if it does, anyone that fishes here a lot. And uh, good luck.